Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to Subnautica. I have found myself. This is episode two. In the last episode, I found myself uh, stranded on a tiny escape pod. I would say, you know, maybe three strides side to side with airborne creatures mysterious around me on an alien planet with a vast underwater world and no land as far as the eye can see. Meanwhile, my ship is radioactive. Which means that I probably shouldn't go over there, although that is the thing that I most wanted to do. Are there two moons here, by the way? We have one moon there and one sun. Okay, so maybe just one moon. Welcome back to Subnautica. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the first episode. I had a ton of fun filming it. I'm going to go get in the water right now. Just because this is purely... Okay, so you are friendly. Or at least you're not not friendly. Oh, buddy. Oh, oh, that's a bladderfish. Okay. Uh, this is purely the most beautiful time of the day to be in this game. Well, it's nighttime again, which honestly is not great. But also if it means that I can just hang out in the water and just jump around for a little bit. I feel like a dolphin then I'm a happy camper. In the last episode, I will say this. We learned that the crafting in this game is going to take me a while to figure out. So we have to, like, get going. We have to, like... We gotta, we gotta very seriously uh, uh, get some shit figured out on that front. Uh, I need to find out how to... Ah, oh, that's right. We did have a storage container. Wait a second. Oh, it says 1%. Oh, wow. So the entire escape pod is broken, but this thing still makes one medical kit very occasionally. Ooh, why is the game lagging a little bit? Uh-oh. Use fabricator. I can make stuff. The fabricator works. I thought it was broken for some reason. I think it's all the other stuff that's broken. I can make a tool. An air bladder. Emergency flotation device. Chemical reaction produces lighter than air gas for fast personal buoyancy. Okay. Uh, we can make cooked food, cooked bladder fish. So you can do that. Okay. Let's make one at least. Oh, that's a cool animation. Hold up. Can you do it again? A cured bladder fish? Oh, it requires another bladder fish. Shit. One bladder fish equals one filtered water. That's really all you have to do is, I mean, I guess we're not lacking for water, are we? Because it's outside, obviously. Basic materials, I can make lubricant. That's great, love that for us. I can make titanium, I can make silicone rubber. Make one of those with your laser 3D printing machine. Our power went down and then it went back up. What does that mean? I need cave sulfur now. I really don't know how to make cave sulfur. Hmm. Waterproof locker. Small storage solution that maintains position in the water. Okay, power's going back up again. We should store some stuff here. Uh. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Continuing to monitor? A quantum detonation? Listen, I don't know that I can survive a quantum de de detonation. That is the prettiest. Wait, what is that? Oh, those are the bird guys. Seek fluid intake. Okay, sure, sure, sure. I gotta catch bladder fish, it turns out. Okay. I don't have any uh, fluid intake, but I do have this cooked bladder fish. Which should help. Um, We're gonna have to figure out an inventory system today, I think. Uh... Okay, let's use the nighttime to do that. Let's use the nighttime to our advantage. Let's be smart. Damaged radio. Uh, all right, so let's just get rid of like the fire extinguisher. Uh, all of our acid mushrooms. M most of our acid mushrooms. All of the creature eggs for sure we don't need. One metal salvage at least. Creep vine seed cluster. I could have swore. I keep hitting the wrong button. I could have swore we could make a... What is it we need for this thing? 
Cave sulfur. Oh. Do we know how to make... I know. I'm I'm not going to be able to do it at night, though. Do we know how to make that thing? Whatever it's called. I can make a sign. That's great. I can make a radio. Even though my radio is broken, I can make a radio? We don't know how to make the thing. Okay. I keep hitting escape. Uh, all right. Well, you know what? Let's actually put more in here. Uh, while we... Keep a couple things on us and and go back out in the nighttime. For sure. What could possibly go wrong? I guess I can go down this thing. Uh, we should keep our flare on us. It is probably really dark for you guys. Hold up real quick. Let me see if I can uh, brighten things up at all. We don't know that I can. Brightening things up. Resolution, field of view. Uh, I don't know that I can. I think it's just meant to be a little dark. We do have some uh, settings that we may actually turn down a little bit, considering the game has, in the last second or two, started slowing down. Ooh, we should look at this probably. PDA is tab. Deconstruct is Q. Okay, I can deconstruct stuff with Q. And uh, I think that's basically the important thing. Sprint is left shift. Great. Great. All right. Well, let's chuck one of these. Uh, do we dare chuck it straight down? Oh, my God. That's terrifying. Let me get some air. I already had some. We are looking for... Did it go all the way down? No, it landed right here. Okay. Oh, it's sinking. Oh, my God. This is the coolest thing I have ever done. In my real life, I would never do anything this scary or cool. This is by far the coolest thing. What? Oh! What, is, what was that? Whoa! I don't like it. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna- I'm going in and I'm never coming back out. I'm never leaving. I'm never leaving. I'm staying in here forever. What the heck was that? Use the first aid kit. Okay. Alright. Great. So what time is it? Because I'm going up. I'm going up top, and I'm never going back down. It is daytime now. What the heck was that? I just spat. I got so excited. It cracked my sh my uh, visor for a second, which truly scared me. We should grab that uh, flare again. Nope. Uh, right click. Left click. It was down there, right? I think we have to figure this out. Oh, what are these purple things? Let's get some air and come back. What are these purple things? There's too much to do. Pick up floater? Is that going to make this thing sink? Composed of multiple organisms in symbiosis. I mean, I guess I should just pick them all up. Thing's gonna sink now. Let's get some air. Okay, I think it's time to brave it. I gotta figure out what these bo big boys are. They look like like uh, uh like mana wars almost. I have my flare. I did not mean to throw. Oh Jesus Christ! I did not mean to chuck that at you. I am so sorry. Where did the flare go? Oh no. I should definitely just focus on that. Uh, I need bladderfish. You are a peeper. A peeper. Where is this flare? There it is. What is a peeper? A peeper. H2O negative seven. That's not going to help me. Edible prey fish. High calorie count. Okay. Did they just spit out this green stuff. Oh my God. Oh my God. Did that do damage? I think it might have. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> I don't like you then. All right. So we need bladderfish, I guess, right? I have to have some. I think that's the only way I know of getting water. So... Is that one? That's a boomerang. Small edible prey fish. Okay. 
we're taking care of the the basics here it's uh it's time for the very basics of survival a peeper i think those are all peepers so where did i find a bladder fish let's get some air oxygen for sure for sure swim to surface i'm on it i mean we went this way a little bit there's risk of a of a explosion right this game's incredible what the heck is happening i have to point out a gary fish that i have just been fully pulled in small edible prey fish okay uh with zero difficulty i have been completely pulled in immediately by this game I'm just like, yeah, I have to grab a bladder fish. I have to, obviously, because otherwise, how am I going to drink? Uh, pick up. Incredible. All right. So there's one. Oh, there's another one. I think. I think I have to craft them back at home, though. Yeah, yeah. Let's go home. Oh, there's another one right here. Yeah. Okay, there's three. Oh, my God. They're everywhere now. I can see two on my screen right now. I want to ride this guy. I don't know. Not in a weird... Like, I just... I feel like they would transport me quickly through the water. That's what I mean. That's all I mean. Just to clarify. <laughs> no one was thinking it other than me. But I just want to clarify that I wanted... All right. Let's make some drinkable water? Question mark? Fabricator. Sustenance. I can make cooked food. But I think filtered water would be great. Is it possible to do multiple of those at a time? If I try right clicking? No. Okay. Well, that should that should be a good start. We're we're taking damage. Okay, you do have to hit escape from that one. So we're at one. Uh let's drink. Drink. Drink, drink, drink. Beautiful. Okay, well, there's that solved, I guess. Uh, we have new lubricant or new new blueprints for some new food, cooked boomerang. Uh, floral fa flavor, but very little of it. Good eating around the fins, boomerang says. We have more cured ones as well. I think I can technically cure them. I think I I have some salt. No, I don't have salt. All right, cool. Well, let's just eat, eat one then. Cooked peeper. Once we get the basics taken care of, I can do all kinds of... Organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way <laughs> for millennia. You can too. <laughs> okay all right so we have some lore apparently in this world we're so used to these nutrient blocks and so this kind of stuff is a little does our health go up no our health doesn't go up when we eat interesting peepers are really good for food though holy cow that's what it meant by po uh, protein rich protein rich i guess uh okay well our power is going down oh it does say solar okay okay cool so our our solar went down our power went down because we were crafting fabricating stuff but i think it goes up now because yeah that's at three where it was at two okay cool slowly but surely we're figuring it out let's grab some more uh of the bladder guys water guys so that we have water and then if we got a little bit of water and a little and maybe some others like peepers or boomerangs or something we got a little other food in our inventory we could really do some good i tried to hit q and it doesn't do anything okay i probably need i probably need like a tool uh cool are you the good one peepers are the good ones i hope that i can't I hope I don't, like, destroy the populations of these. Oh, does this game do that? 
Like, I've caught, like, eight peepers today. And I know it's a big ocean, but... Oh, man. I hope I don't have to... Listen, it's hard enough work out here just surviving. If I have to worry about... Are those the guys? Those are the fuckers that hit my shield or my face shield earlier. Never again. Uh, if I have to also worry about the ethical qualms of what I'm doing, I'm going to feel really bad. <laughs> All right. I cannot. I feel like I'm just distracted so easily right now. And I can't do more than one thing at a time. But listen. Oops, I have the flare still. Um, but listen, there's a lot that I would like to do. Bladderfish, bladderfish, bladderfish. I see another one to the left. Come here. There's another one like right here. Right there. Come here. Come here, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why do they make acid the absolute first thing that you encounter in this game? That feels a little bit like a Gary fish. There's just small. Feels a little cruel, right? The, the first option they give you. I mean, we didn't try it, I guess. We could try it. The first option they give you is to get... Is to trip out of your mind on 60 acid mushrooms. So, it's giving me... Uh, it's giving it's giving me options... Hold up. I still can't interact with y'all, can I? No. It's giving me options to, like, destroy stuff like... Or, uh, pick, pick up stuff like this. I think. Wait, that said it again. Sea Glide Fragment. I can't pick it up, though. Sea Glide is that thing it said. What is down here? Oh, there's the bad guys. Okay, okay, okay. Chill. We'll go this way, then. Yeah, metal salvage. Okay. Did I drop my guy down here? Oxygen. Oh, shit. Oxygen, you're right. I grabbed something. I have no idea what it is. Go, 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 go. Oh, we're going to take damage. Oh, sweet oxygen. Sweet air. What did I pick up? Let's go. Okay, so there is that down there. Are we going to have a replicator? I think we're there, right? I think we're basically there. Oh my god. I've been recording for 45 minutes already, and I don't know that I have blinked or breathed so far. <laughs> Between the last episode and this one, I don't know that I have looked up in any way, shape, or form from uh, this game. Okay. I can make a repair tool. That's the one we want, right? Let's go! Let's put it on our, our hotbar. Is it in my inventory? One through five bind. One. Incredible. Charge 100%. Multi-purpose repair tool. Functional in all environments. Okay, can I use one here? What was I repairing? Uh. Uh, right click. What is this again? I don't, I do not remember at all. Run full environment diagnostic and outputting results to databank. Whoa. Status okay. Uncharted ocean planet five four five four six B oxygen nitrogen atmosphere. Waterborne bacteria levels are high. I can repair the radio too, right? There was something it said though. It said uh it said data bank. Four five four six uh four five four six B environment scan. Okay. Oh my god, we're getting lower. Category three ocean planet. The whole planet is ocean. Damn. Extensive biodiversity, yeah. Yes indeed. Safety warnings may support Leviathan class predators. <laughs> First off. Y'all are familiar with Chekhov's gun? Yeah. Uh, is anyone familiar with Chekhov's gun? I... Where I come from, my name is Ryan. Where I come from, I uh, have a master's degree in creative writing. I've studied creative writing my whole life. If I know one thing about video games, it's this right here. This, this paragraph right here is making me very nervous. May support Leviathan-class predators. Chekhov's gun is the idea that 
a gun sitting on a shelf in the first act of a play, when you first start watching a play, must, at the end of the play in the third act, go off. AKA foreshadowing of danger at the beginning of a game obviously has something to say about what happens at the end of the game. Between Leviathan class predator and high levels of foreign bacteria, I have a bad feeling. Beyond Federation space, rescue unlikely, not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous material suits and extensive support apparatus. I don't have any of that shit, I don't think. I mean, I don't know, do I? Is this a hazmat suit? Let's repair the radio. Let's try and get a play message. I think I accidentally just clicked two things at once. But I think the Aurora tried to speak to him with me. No, no, no. Okay. That's what it said. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in 990... <laughs> in 9,900... 99,999 hours. Holy. Okay. All right. Great. Uh, love that. So the radio seems real useful. Is there anything else I can repair? Oh, I can get a med kit. I should definitely keep taking these, right? And then just storing them in here. Did I just take the med kit? Ah, oh, crap. I left clicked. Shoot. Okay, great. Uh, while we're here, we should probably just get some food set up for the next... Uh, food and water and stuff set up for the next one. And... I guess we think about what's next. <clears throat> We have a repair tool. Maybe I'll take a look and see what other tools uh, we could use. Uh, that makes the most sense to me. Like what other tools it thinks we could craft. We know where to find, I think, some of the major items now. The sulfur was directly below us in that like, that like uh, trench type area. Um, creative writing master's degree, by the way. That uh, 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 trench area. Um, we know where to find limestone, like limestone, copper, titanium, potentially. Fins. Translate vertical limb movement underwater into forward thrust. Enhance swim speed by 15%. We should do that. You have exceeded your weekly exercise. Data indicates that Yo, my Apple Watch is going off. You closed all your rings. Uniform muscle development. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. Uh, we should do fins. Silicone rubber. A fire extinguisher? I don't know that we need one. We had one. We have one still. An O2 tank. So do I just wear the O2 tank on my body? These are rhetorical questions. I'm just trying to figure them out myself. Float. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. What? Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. What? Quantum, it will for sure happen? Do I need to go fix it? There's nothing I could do. I have a, I have a repair tool. But this is not going to work on that. There's no way. Do I run the opposite way? I'm. There's nothing there. Do I sit here and enjoy the fireworks? We're definitely going to get fireworks. Two hours. The clouds are moving so fast. I think this is going to explode. Great. Can't wait. Uh, all right. So we need to make silicone. Here's what I was thinking. Looking at that fabricator. We must make silicone rubber, which is creep vine seed clusters. Okay. We know how to find those in order to make fins so that we can wear them. Uh, we also should make one battery. Habitat Builder. Okay. Flashlight. We should definitely get one of those. We should make two batteries. Lots of silicone. Okay. Probably a waterproof lot. Oh my god. So... 
hold up. Batteries require acid, mushrooms, and copper. I would do that, but honestly, I'm waiting on this ship to blow up. Oh, they do have two moons. That animal is hovering in the air, as is that one, as is that one. They're just hovering. Can I shoot them? Maybe it's not going to blow up. I don't think I can make anything while I'm sitting here. I can eat something. I'm going to feel really dumb if I walk away, like inside, while this is happening, you know? And it eventually blows up. Uh, we should do one of the ones that's not very useful, like a Gary fish. A cooked bit. Oh, it does say old. So, well, how did it get old? Our food bar also went up to 102, actually, rather than 100. So I guess it does give you some extra space, like some extra um, wiggle room over 100. We are going to need so much storage in the next episode. <laughs> Holy cow. It said two hours, like actual in-game two hours, uh, in, in real life two hours. I figured that would be a minute or two. I just have a lit flare chilling in my pocket, by the way. I think the moon is actually rotating. Is it? I think, like, the things near the edge are actually... Alright, we're gonna get in the water. Moving a little bit. Uh, okay, so we need a lot of items. So, where were creep vines? I think they were towards the ship, which is not my favorite area <laughs> to go right now. Uh, creep vines. It's daytime. What do we call north, do you think? Uh, north would be that way then if it rises in the east, sets in the west, which it doesn't at all need to. It's a new planet. Ah, uh, bladderfish. I could use these. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. It is really bright. This flare is, in fact, so bright. Let's put a different tool on. Okay. Well. Uh, are these peepers? I don't know that we need more food. We're looking for creep vines. Creep vines. Okay, I gotta stay focused. Thought I heard a sound. I think creep vines were... No? I definitely heard a sound there. I think it's just those big boys with the blowy... The glowy butts. They look like fireflies. They have, like, glowy butts. Uh, where was the creep vines at? They were sticking out of the water. Like, uh, they were almost sticking out of the water, the vines. Because... I remember they looked like tentacles. Here to grab me. There's some bladder fish here we should grab. Oh, I whiffed. Come here. God, it's so creepy in here. It's not that creepy. It's mostly very pleasant, but... I don't know that the creep vines are over here. Oh, look at all these little fish. Can I get in the middle of them? Oh, they're like... Are they boomerangs? <gasps> oh! What the fuck? Oh! No! Oh, God. You suck. I hate those guys. Alright, uh, I can't find the creep vines, so it must be a different direction from here. It didn't do that much damage, but still. Guy scared me. Uh... So let's go over back towards home. And I guess we'll call it an episode if we can't find the creep vines. Uh, we can always find them in the next one. More bladder fish. We should probably grab those. Oh, man. I can already tell. This is going to be one of those games where I do, I do not want to stop recording at 30 minutes. Holy cow. Uh, first impressions on this game. I probably should have done this at the, end of the, at the end of the first episode. 
first impressions on this game. A little bit of that Chekhov's gun fear of, uh, I'm just always going to be scared that there's something big lurking in the shadows. Oxygen. Oxygen, you're right. Good call. Uh, because of that Leviathan thingy. That's my first, uh, my first feeling. Also, I'm not that... I thought I would be more freaked out by the, like, feeling of water pressing around me. And, like, being tight in a trench area, that seems a little scary. I thought I would be, uh, more scared of that. Uh, I also didn't realize there was gonna be as heavy of a survival... I mean, I didn't really know what to expect. All I knew was that you were underwater, but I figured it would be more of a like, how do I say this? You would just sort of explore underwater, but you have to like, I mean, we, the like third thing we stumbled upon is that I am gonna have to make a home. I'm going to be making myself a, a reinforced habitat. I'm gonna make myself a habitat. There's a lot of crafting in our future. <laughs> so that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Holy cow. I'm. What's that? There's something on the screen. What is that? Is it the radio? Receiving pre recorded distress call. Lay it back. This is LifePod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide. So if we're late for the rendezvous, what? don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. In the next episode, we are 100% going to be going. Location uploaded where? Uh, to that. Beacon. Beacon. Their sea glide is damaged. There's other people alive. Incredible. We're going to do that in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you enjoyed any part of this uh, of this episode or the first episode, maybe subscribe. You can see more every single day. Uh, or hit us with a like or a positive comment. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, bye bye